Hi everybody, so in video 1869 we built this thing, so if you want to know how it's built check out video 1869. It's really a serpent generator where we twisted the serpentine coil 90 degrees to give this radial device and it went really well. There were two main comments in 1869, or rather two main groups of comments. One was, how would it do as a motor? So in video 1870 we did that. And then the other one was, what about a flywheel generator? How would it perform as a flywheel generator? So that's what we're going to do now. Now these files are available on Tinkercad. So if you go to Tinkercad and look up uh, Robert Murray Smith and Twisted Serpent Generator, you get these files that you can modify, undownload and print. And in there you'll find this. I added this. It's a little plug. And this little plug just sits on the top there and it's big enough to take some free weights. And all we're going to do is drop some free weights on there. And in the end we've got a bearing because we're going to glue that to there and that whole thing will turn and the free weights will sit here. So let's do that. Okay, that was pretty easy, so I've made this the right size to take our free weights and all we've got to do is drop the free weights on and it should take three of them, which is seven and a half kilos. Okay, I've got four lights in a row, I've wrapped a cord around this. We're going to give it a pull and see what happens. Okay, so I can appreciate that was about as interesting as watching paint dry, but that runs for a fair amount of time from a pull. Now, we wouldn't actually do it this way, okay? We'd do it something more like this that we made in video 1860. And incidentally, all the files for this are also on Tinkercad if you want to look that up. This is the pull cord generator. So we do something very similar with this to create a gearing system and then also a supercapacitor storage system because you don't want to be pulling this every few minutes. You want to pull it maybe two or three times to begin with, charge a supercapacitor or, and then use that energy. You'd be able to generate quite a bit of energy here where you get an awful lot of run time from it. So that is more how you would do it. It'd be much more in this kind of arrangement, but I'm just showing that this is a flywheel Oh, it works pretty well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.